So I'm going to talk about our STEM project that y'all could work on. It's kind of meant to be a fun thing. It's not really meant to be um, for a grade grade, but I thought some of you might be getting bored and interested in doing something fun. You'll have to have either Legos or Connects. Connects would be better because that's what it's built on, but you could probably think this through and uh, come up with a way to use some in Legos if you wanted to. You might could even get completely crazy and think about things like sticks and rubber bands to put it together. But I'm going to go through what this is about because I've had a lot of questions of uh, kids that would be interested in doing it, but they don't really understand what I want them to do. So I'm starting on my website. Down here it's the STEM Project Earthquakes. So if you'll open that up, you'll see it's got lots of different tabs here to go through. Uh, the basic idea is that uh, the engineers want us to build a earthquake resistant house. And it tells you right here what they want you to do. It gives you your problem. So read over that. It tells you what an engineer is. And you've even got a video if you need to watch that on engineering. <coughs> So it goes into talking about why earthquakes happen. We see the areas where earthquakes usually happen. And then it, it kind of talks about some of the things that engineers do to try to limit the problems we would have from an earthquake. So we've got a couple of tests that we had designed on Kinex, but like I said, it obviously isn't going to work very well since we're not there. So I'm just going to go through some of the different things that the engineers do to give you an idea of something you might could plan an earthquake house that you come up with. So I'm going to go over here where it says construct a four-story building. Uh, if you have the materials this is what you can try but if not it goes through picture by picture and shows you how to put it together. It tells you what to do. And the pictures are really helpful to see. This is what it ends up looking like. So if you have that, that would be great. If not, like I said, just see what you can do with some Legos. You're not really looking for a structure that is built like a house. You're looking for something that's probably going to be open on the inside. And you're going to be able to uh, add some things to it. <coughs> Under testing technologies. Uh, you see, one says a mass damper. So in school, we would have used something like a weight. We would have hung this by a string, and then we would have swayed it back and forth to see how much it would help prevent the, uh, the earthquake from destroying the house. Since we are not there, I'll, I'll give you an idea. We, we would have put it don't go in this way and then going back Forth too. So I could see using some yarn or something like that and maybe rigging up a rock, something uh, to see if that would help keep your house together. Uh, another one of the things it will load, here we go, that it talks about is cross bracing, which is an interesting idea because if you see here, we have. Uh, one picture where the cross bracing is going down in the same direction, then it goes across in the same direction, then it goes down, it goes across. And then picture two, there's a different kind of bracing in which there's a brace on both sides. Um, so you could use a, a different way of thinking about how can I combine these two kinds of technologies um, to make stabilizer house. But keep in mind, like I said, we're not really looking for a house house just built out of Legos. We're looking for something that's going to stabilize the house. And then the last is looking at the building shape. So instead of just building a plain structure, uh, they're showing if you put a layer out to the side and possibly another layer out to the side so that you might have something tall, but at the same time, something small on the bottom to give you some stabilizing. Um, I would say if you're going to try with Legos, which is what most of us have, 
we can't have a base because that's the first thing that's going to uh, make this almost like cheating is one of those flat bases that everything gets built on. It's got to be freestanding and then you can't have where it's just uh, all the way around one big house. Um, we want to look for something that's open so that you can see the technologies. At the very least it's got to be hollow on the inside so we can see that you tried to add a technology that we have discussed to try to um, stabilize it and keep your earthquake from destroying your house. Um, I could see possibly giving extra credit, Ms. Jones and I, if you come up with something really good. Um, just an idea of something you might want to try. Okay, thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.